Hello, welcome to Holmes County Ticket. I'm your host, Dave Mast. We're here at Coach's Chat again, as always, with head coach Kevin Maltrich. Kevin, welcome to the show. Thanks, Dave. All right, uh, Kevin, you guys have continued to, as you beat Lexington here, you continue to march your way toward the playoffs. Talk a little bit about kind of the, the passion and the fervor that you guys have created in the community uh, around surrounding this football team. I hope it's been a good one, and uh, you know the things that I hear, and I don't hear too much. You know, my focus is with the kids and everything, but but the things I hear, you know, those people are excited and they want a home playoff game, and uh, you know the kids are excited, and uh, you know as we get through this, you can start to feel the community a little bit, but uh, you know we're, 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 these kids are pretty focused right now, and uh, you know everything they do, you know they deserve the, the amount of hard work they have, and uh, you know it's something real special to bring this back to Holmes County and get a playoff game, and uh, you know that's what we're striving for. Yeah, and it has been a while since the people here have gotten to enjoy that atmosphere and that is a very special atmosphere isn't it it is you know and i think a lot of people have forgotten that we have hosted a playoff game here back in 99 and uh you know that's one thing i keep hearing is west Holmes ever hosted yeah we've hosted and uh you know the kids that actually played in that game don't forget because of the yeah. thousands of people and just the atmosphere that uh was uh was all construed into that it was something and uh, you know that's something that i hope that, that we can do for these kids yeah uh looking back at that lexington game uh 21 to 7 the defense played an outstanding game five first downs they gave up that's it uh, but you know I talked about how the offense almost dictated that role for the defense did it? it did you know we took uh, minutes off the clock every time that uh, we had the ball and just uh, short sustained drives and that's one thing that this offense can do is you know we, we tell those kids you know we want three four yards every time uh, that, that we carry the ball, and that's what we did. You know, we just kind of marched the ball downfield, and we controlled the tempo of the game. And uh, you know, every time they got a chance to, uh, to 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 get the ball back and do something, we took it right away right away from them. Mm -hmm. So it was it was real nice to have our offense play some defense for us. Which was weird because, for as much as you controlled that ball to only punch it in three times, kind of a strange game. Uh, you know, just one of those games where. You just couldn't seem to – just different things happened. That yeah, made it. it was. You know, there was a, a bunch of different things. But, you know, that was something we talked about this week is, you know, that, that game probably should have been 49, you know, 56 nothing. And, uh, you know, we, we got to take take advantage of some of those opportunities. And, uh, you know, we did some silly things along the way, and we turned it over a couple times, with kept us out of the end zone. So, uh, you know, we got to make sure that we, uh, we sharpen those things up uh, heading into playoff time. So, and uh, have you guys clinched yet, or do you know where you sit in terms of, of the numbers yet in, in playoffs? Uh, on one site that we look at, we have clinched a spot, so that's nice. We, I think we got to win our last two games in order to get a home playoff game. But, uh, you know, we're, right now we're just focused on Worcester, and uh, we're going to let the uh, pieces fall where they may, and uh, we're going to take care of ourselves. And let's look ahead at Worcester a little bit. You know, this is one of, the, I'm sure, the premier games that your kids look forward to. Big rivalry. You know, Worcester's coming in here hungry to try and set you guys down. Um, they know that you're battling for that top spot in the, in the OCC as well. So they would like nothing more than to send you guys, you know, packing in that too. So talk a little bit about that rivalry. Oh, uh, it, it's, it's, you know, every time I hear some, somebody doesn't like Worcester. So, but, uh, you know, we, we got to concentrate on ourselves. We got to focus on ourselves. And I'll tell you this, Worcester's not your typical two and six team. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they, they've got just as good as athletes as anybody. They've got a big line. And, uh, you know, they've had some just unfortunate luck along the way where, the, where they've lost games. But, uh, you know, the, they're right in it with everybody right until a certain point. And, uh, you know, they're, they're going to give us their best go. You know, they'd like nothing more to salvage their season and knock us off. And, uh, you know, they're going to play good ball against us. And, uh, you know, it's, this isn't like a, an easy walkover game. They're going to be ready for us, and they've got athletes just as good as Mansfield Senior, mm -hmm. if not, you know, better than just about anybody else, and, uh, you know, we're going to have our hands full. All right. So there you have it from Coach, Coach Maldrich here. Stop out Friday night, see the Knights in action against Worcester. It should be a great game, an electric game, as they, grow, as they get closer and closer to the playoffs. You know, you can kind of feel that, the emotion and the, and the fun of just being involved in the playoffs grow. So come out and support the Knights. I'm your host, Dave Mast, and as always, go Knights.